What the hell? Oh! Oh, Clive Givens, you are a naughty, naughty man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You love it. Oh, I do. Zip me up, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, don't stop. We can't oh, go again, can we? Don't tempt me. Mm -hmm. I love tempting you. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Something I forgot to mention. I've got a breakfast meeting with Beverly tomorrow. Okay, it's hospital <sighs> business. It's, it's nothing personal, but. I'm telling you because we agreed on full transparency. I'm trying to do the right thing even though we're still sneaking around. Yeah, but it won't be for much longer. I've got a good idea. Why don't you have your meeting here? Is that a good idea? Well, if it's business, it won't be a problem. OK. All right, we'll have it here. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Time, time. Oh, yeah. time. Thank you. Okay. I'll go. Oh, okay. Take this and this. Okay. And me? Mm -hmm. Beverly. I want you to know that Clive and I never planned for this to happen. Clive and I have had words, but I've got a few for you as well. I am really, really sorry. Oh, it's funny how often you get to say that to me. Yeah, I know. But we should have told you about it when it first happened, but then you had to go off to the conference, and then your niece had that accident, I'm and... sorry. Are you telling me that you and Clive have been together since before the conference? Why? What did Clive say? That he was leaving me to go back to you. Not that you'd been running around behind my back the whole time. Oh, it wasn't the whole time. I mean, the first time was just, you know, uh, on the desk. And oh. then there was a couple of times after that, and it was in the water hole. Do you know what you are? You're, you're, you're... Please have... You told me that you were going to tell Beverly the truth. I am so sorry. I should have warned you. Oh, really? Oh, what a crazy idea. I wish I could say that I deserved this. We both do. It takes two to tango, and we have been tangoing a lot over the past few weeks. And you were the only one to get out of this scot-free. Well, not exactly. Oh, really? So, what happened to you? Oh, you're right. Yeah. I often am. Yeah. And if I didn't love you as much as I do, Clive Gibbons, I would throw you out on your yeah. ear. 